EA Sports. It's in the game. NCAA Football 2005. the Minnesota Golden Gophers and the Iowa Hawkeyes. And here come the Hawkeyes. Hi and welcome everybody. I'm Brad Nessler and I'm joined by my partners Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. Today, these two teams are playing for a bronze pig named Floyd of Rosedale. Kirk, how do you see this one? This really looks like a deadlock. This could go to either team. Well, in a close matchup like this, I always like to look at the individual. Minnesota has a good chance here because of one reason, the play of their outstanding running back. He is a phenomenal athlete, and I think he'll have a big game today, and I think they're going to win a close one. Let me tell you what I think here. Iowa has the ability to run the football against this defense. I agree it'll be a close ball game, but if they can establish a running game early, Kirk, I think you'll get the W. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. And it's a short kickoff. Number 21 fields it at the 11. He didn't got away. Kickoff return, 17 yards. Number 21 on the return. They'll get the ball here at the 27. The Gophers come out in the ace formation. On the ground with the tailback. Tries to juke. And he's tackled. An eight-yard gain. On the carry. Gain of eight on the play. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 35-yard line. Minnesota lines up with three receivers. Another run. And he stopped behind the line. Kirk, they really had nothing going on that run. I'll tell you what, Brad, it's almost like he ran into a brick wall on that play. It's third down and three to go. Ball on their own 34. The Gophers come to the line with their jumbo package. Drops back to pass. He's looking. And he just gets rid of it. He was under some pressure there. Well, sometimes as a quarterback, you have so many things to worry about. What's the coverage? Where's the pressure coming from? And so on. That you lose focus at times throwing a catchable ball. Here, he just missed the target. The Golden Gopher are lining up to punt it away. Punts the ball away. Number 11 fields at the 31. And now we get to see this offense for the first time as they head out onto the field. They'll go to work at the 31. Minnesota comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He drops back. He pumps once. Across the middle. Incomplete pass. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. Second and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. The Gophers bring in their dime package. Back to pass. Looks. 
steps up in the pocket. Over the middle. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. That could have easily been a turnover. Yeah, I don't even think the quarterback even saw that guy. Well, he almost saw him running the other direction with the football. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 31. 31 yard line. Iowa comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Throws! This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 28 gets it off. Number 21 fields it to the 30. Spin move. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll take over the 39-yard line. Number 21 lines up as a single back. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Throws this one out to the left. And he brings it down. And they tackle him. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender. And he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. First and 10. Ball on the 32. The Golden Gopher go with the eye formation. He tries to spin, and they hit him in the backfield. Look at that. The Blitz just threw off their blocking assignments, and that's why this running back is looking for his mouthpiece right now. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 34-yard line. Iowa lines up in a dime defense here. They hand it off, and they got him for a loss. Yeah, that time the defense was swarming to the ball and really didn't allow this tailback any room to run. It's third down at 15 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Minnesota comes out with five receivers. Throws this one out to the right. Got it. And he's all the way down to the 12-yard line. That's how you get a first down. Coach, they took a risk and went for the long ball. And boy, did it pay off. Excellent play call. About 12 yards out. Let's see if their play calling changes now that they're in the red zone for the first time. Another run. And he's taken down. No game. On the 12, and they can smell the goal line. Iowa brings in the nickel here. Toss. Gets that one. And they make the stop. Two yards on the toss play. So this crowd is making their presence felt. Back to pass. Looks to the end zone. The ball is tipped. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Coach, he made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. Here we go. They'll try to make this a field goal game. It's up. And it's good. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary.
Minnesota is ready to kick it away. Number 29 and number 21 back to return. Kicks it off. Number 21 fields it in the end zone. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll start this drive at the 16-yard line. High formation here. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Boy, they got some major heat on the quarterback that time. Well, that's the whole goal of defense. They're going to attack him by bringing multiple looks and blitzing from the linebackers in the secondary to try to confuse him. Second and 15, ball on their own 11. The Gophers line up with six defensive backs. Drops back to pass. Throw short, complete. Knocked out of bounds. That one worked pretty well. And it's a good job here by the wide receiver to get open. He created good separation from the defense. It's third down and four to go. Ball on the 22. Iowa goes with the ace set here. He drops back. Down the middle. And he dropped it. The big guy let it go through his finger. The tight end's hands are all torn up and his knuckles are swollen from blocking every day in practice. you got to give this guy a break. I don't know about that, Coach. Nowadays, tight end's got to be able to do more than just block. You should have caught that ball. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Number 28 gets it off. Number 21 fields it at the 38. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. They'll set up shot at the 42. Minnesota comes to the line with only one man in the backfield. Shakes off a tackle. Brought down. Gain of nine. a quarter of play. Our score is Minnesota 3, Iowa nothing. It's second down and one to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. One man backfield. Toss. He spins. And they make the stop. They toss it out to the tailback, and he picks up the first down. When you look at why a play like this is successful, you got to look at the guys up front. They did a heck of a job of blocking right there. First and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. Number 21 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Over the middle. Got it. With the spin, and he's taken down. Good yardage there. That'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. Looked like the defense might have been looking run. It's first and ten. Ball on the 20. The kicker got them points on their last red zone visit. Let's see if the offense can get points this time. Back to pass. Looking. He's going left. Couldn't haul it in. The wide receiver couldn't quite hang on to that. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 20 yard line. This sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. Here's a pitch left side. And they hit him in the backfield. Boy, he is one big guy down there on that defensive line. Oh, man, the big fella's a hoss. I saw him last night at the hotel, and he had three bags of food going up to his room. Yo, it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt. Hey, pal. It's third down and 14 to go. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Minnesota comes out with an eye formation. Drops back to pass. Steps up with the throw. And it's caught. 
The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down line. Number 16 lines up for the field goal. He gets it up. And it's right down the middle. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Number 16 looks ready to kick this one off. He kicks it. Number 29 fields it at the three. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. The Hawks come out in the ace formation. First and ten. They'll throw on first down. He steps up. He's going left. Caught. What a catch, and that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense, but I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. It's first and 10, ball on the 34. Number 29, alone in the backfield. Pitch is right. Defense running him down. Off the would be tackled. And they push him out. First and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. Number 29 is the single setback. Throws it to the outside. Almost a nice catch. This is a missed opportunity here. The receiver got his hands on the ball, but couldn't quite pull it in. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 46. Inside handoff. Brought down. A good 10 yards on the pickup. Third down and short. This is the fifth play of this drive. They come out in a goal line set. He gets another carry. They'll bring him down. And that'll be good enough to move the sticks. Yep, Fred. First and 10. Do it again. Pound the ball ahead. First and ten. Ball on the 41. The Gophers line up in a nickel back. They'll give it off here. And he's taken down. A gain of nine yards on the play. Second and one coming up here, and this is the seventh play in the current drive. Number five with three wide receivers. He's gobbled up in the backfield, and they snuffed out the quarterback draw there. And there was absolutely no place for that quarterback to run on that play. Good job by this defense. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Line up in a goal line formation. Steps up in the pocket. Throws it to the outside. And got it complete. And he's all the way down to the two. Iowa takes a timeout.
they find themselves in the red zone for the first time today. He drops back. Over the middle. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Well, that wasn't a very smart pass. It was very tough to read where the holes are and where they aren't when the zone defense is run down by the goal line. There's no doubt he shouldn't have tried to throw that ball in there. I think he was confused and thought he saw something that wasn't there. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. Back to pass. Under pressure. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. It falls incomplete. A little too much muscle behind that pass. Iowa sets up in the eye. Keep it on the ground with a tailback. And down he goes. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kick is up, and it's through the uprights. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number 21. Fields it at the 7. He broke his ankle. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. They'll go to work at the 23-yard line. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. On the ground with the tailback. He has some room. And they make the stop. Minnesota calls a timeout. First and ten. Ball on their own 37. They line up in an eye. Throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. Guys, someone must have gotten a hand up there because that ball came out of there kind of funny. You bet. The quarterback let it fly, but it had no chance after that big tree got in the way. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Iowa comes out defensively with six defensive backs. And he's going to come up with a sack. A big-time play by the defense. Well, he just really overpowered the offense there. He simply used power to slide right through and come up with a pressure to bring down the quarterback. Minnesota takes a timeout. It's third down and 14 to go. Ball on the 33. Bring in the nickel package. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Looks. He's got to throw it in a hurry. There he goes. Tackle. Iowa calls a timeout. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. He gets it off. Number 11, back deep to return. Number 11 fields it at the 19. 
The defense was able to keep them out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. They'll get the ball here at the 22. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's tackled. Six-yard pickup. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break, Minnesota six, Iowa three. Start the second half as the teams are lined up for the kickoff. We should have a return on this one. Number 21 fields it at the two. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 22. First and ten. Yeah. Number 29, the lone back. Little handoff. There he goes. He's hit and got away. Winning. They'll bring him down. An amazing run. The important thing here to watch is how this defense is going to react after giving up a big play like that. I don't know if they can do much, Lee. They just don't have the speed to match up with the skill position. First and ten, ball on their own 47. One man backfield. Hut, hut. Toss. Makes the move. Missed tackle. And they make the stop. He carries the ball for three, maybe four yards. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 49. They line up in an eye. He drops back. Looking over the middle. It's tipped. The linebacker managed to break that one up. It's third down and six to go. Ball right around midfield. Here's the option. And down he goes, about five yards on the quarterback keeper. Number 32, back to return it. It's a high kick and it holds up there. Number 12, signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 19. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 19-yard line. Minnesota comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Got it over. And he's taken down. He picked up big yardage on that run. Oh, this is great blocking up front. Nice job of holding on to their blocks, allowing him to break through for some big yards. It's first and 10, ball on the 33-yard line. Number three comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down. Throws, and they've got the screen set out. And they hit him in the backfield. That'll be a two-yard loss. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 31-yard line. Iowa has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Back to pass. Over the middle. 
Oh, he could have had a big reception that time. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. Third down and 12. Ball on their own 31. Iowa puts six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. Drops back to pass. He steps up. He's going left. And that one's fallen incomplete. Same pass play. Good defense that time. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. He gets it off. Fumble! Recovered by the offense. It's first and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. The Gopher come out in the ace formation. Here's the pitch, left side. He spins around. Tackle. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a good job by that big offensive line. No, it really was, Brad. And also a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. First and ten. Ball on the 23. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays. And right now, they're not having much luck at all. He drops back. He's looking. Under heavy pressure. Over the middle. Incomplete pass. The blitz was very effective that time. Yep, they brought the house. And it was all he could do to get the ball out of there. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Number 21, alone in the backfield. And he's tackled. So the quarterback keeper gets maybe a yard. Third and nine. Ball on the 22-yard line. Iowa has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Back to pass. He tosses it short, and they couldn't hook up on that one. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. They'll call on the field goal unit here. It's up, and it's good. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. They're ready for the kick. Kicks it off. Number 21. Fields it at the three. The offense comes back down the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. And Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're going to look to do the same here. First and ten. Ball on their own 32. Number 29. Alone back. Over the middle. Couldn't haul it in. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Hawks line up with two tight ends. And they make the stop. That'll be a two-yard gain. Gain of two on the play. Third and eight. Ball on the 34-yard line. 
The Hawkeye come out in a shotgun. Look. Here comes the pressure. Going deep. Lays it out there. And he can't make the catch. Almost a nice catch. This is a missed opportunity here. The receiver got his hands on the ball, but couldn't quite pull it in. Iowa lining up the punt. He punts it. Loses the football. Number 21 recovers a loose ball. Two yard line. First and ten. Number 21 alone in the backfield. They'll throw on first down. Throws to the middle. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. It's second down and ten to go. Ball on the 42. The Gophers come out showing three wide. They go with a toss. Jed's a tackler. Ben move. And he's taken down. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Third and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Iowa put six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. The corner made a good play on the ball. He sure did. This kid is very athletic. If he doesn't get a pick, he does his best to knock the ball down. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Punts the ball away. Number 11 takes it at the 23, spins upfield. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll set up shot at the 28-yard line. Minnesota lines up in a dime defense here. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's tackled, and a six-yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. So that brings us to the end of the quarter, and at the end of three, our score, Minnesota nine, Iowa three. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 34-yard line. They're lining up in the 5-2. Ground with the tailback. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Boy, are these guys fast or what? Good job of penetrating and getting to the ball carrier here. Third and five. Ball on the 33 yard line. Minnesota brings in the nickel here. There's a play fake. Wants to throw outside. Comes up with a jump ball. That's how you get a first down. Coach, they took a risk and went for the long ball. And boy, did it pay off. Excellent play call. It's first and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Number five with three wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. Brought down. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. Second, 
Second down and five. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Gophers line up in a nickel back. Get the call again. And he stopped behind the line. No gain. No gain. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. They'll bring in their dime package. Steps up in the pocket. Across the middle. Got his man. And down he goes. Wow, how about that third down, Keeper? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. First and ten, they're in the red zone. The defense looks confident as they held them to a field goal on their last red zone trip. And that one's fallen incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 16-yard line. Drops back to pass. Short talk. Complete. So they execute and move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah, completing those short passes is the key because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. From the gun. Tackle. And the quarterback picks up about three on the draw. the middle brought down and nice running by the fullback no question what impresses me is the blocking up front just man to man they're able to create a lane there and get a first down <laughs> Iowa lines up in a goal line set they'll work the right side they get a one-yard loss on that one. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. And here's our red zone players of the game. Red zone, when performance matters the most. They put everyone up on the line. Down the middle. Couldn't haul it in. Not a good effort there in the end zone. They're going to try to convert this one. He drops back. Wants to throw outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. They turn the ball over after going for it on fourth down. Yeah, but they still made the right call. At this stage in the game, they'll try anything to get back in it. A minute to go in the ball game. The Golden Gopher line up in an eye formation. Handoff up the middle. He's stiff arm. And he's taken down. Iowa takes a timeout. Second and three. Ball on the 12-yard line. Minnesota comes out with an eye formation. 
He spins, and they make the stop. Iowa calls a timeout. It's first and 10, ball on the 26-yard line. Minnesota sets up in the eye. They go with the run. No shake and bake move. Iowa takes a timeout. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 28. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he takes a knee. Minnesota comes out with an eye formation. Here's the give with the spin. They'll drop him for a loss. He stopped by the defense as they shut him down well short of the first. You're right, my friend. They couldn't afford to have the offense maintain possession, so they focused their attention on that ball carrier and brought him down. Another hard-fought game between these two rivals. Was this what you expected to see? I'm going to tell you guys something. It doesn't matter what the record is. It doesn't matter who beats who the past few years. The only thing that matters is who focuses on a game and gets it done. And our winner did just that. We here at EA Sports thank you for watching this game of NCAA Football 2005. The final count in this one, Minnesota 9, Iowa 3. From all of us here at EA Sports, we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye, everybody.